It's hunting morning. Hunting day. Yes. Uh, it's opening morning in Nebraska. We got in last night. Didn't really film a video because it was pitch black. Um, it looks darker right now than it is.
drilled him. Drilled him. He's not moving. He's 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 dead. You dumped him. Did you just shoot a buck in Nebraska? Yeah. Heck yeah, public land. I think he's a small one, but I don't care. We came here to fill the freezer. We're not horn hunters. He is right. There, laying dead. Oh yeah, you dumped him. He didn't take a step. He just <laughs> right over. This is the cut he's in, actually. I want to say just straight down the hill here. Nope, head straight down. Oh, I see him. Good job. Looks like he snapped off at the top there. Well, we got some meat for the freezer. All right. Well, Nebraska buck down. Awesome. Good buck. He's a big body deer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now the work begins. Just at the grocery store. Just pick, picking up some dinner. Uh, now the work begins. I think we got three and a half miles back to the truck. We got all sorts of gear. It's pretty thick. Yeah, he's got a nice layer of fat on him. That's good. That means it means he's good eating. Awesome. Is it really three miles? Yeah. And I mean it's super flat, so we're good. We're totally good because it's like really flat. Right? That's what they tell me. Alright. We're out here. Evening hunt, day one. I got a dedicated camera woman. She's tagged out. Trailheads that you're allowed to walk on State Park, and there's hunters everywhere. But we picked one, and now we're 
try to see if we can find anything. We need like an easy hunt after our morning. <laughs> Mike and I were walking down this road and we're like, oh, we just need an easy hunt, right? So it's literally like a dirt road. And some guy stopped us and was like, oh, 10 guys this morning came through here and um, there's no deer left. We walked down this road for five minutes. Mike sees this giant three by three. Six point white tail. Yeah, six point white tail. I ate because it had eye guards. And so he starts running after it, and I'm like chugging along, trying to stay quiet. Yeah, I was trying to cut the distance because yeah. he was like 800 yards. I was like, if I can get to three, I can put a solid shot on him. Yeah, so we go up, we go up, he goes over the hill, and we're stuck at this creek. So, yeah, 300 yards. As yeah, he's running over. as he's running over. So we're like, let's go, let's try to do it. And I'm wearing snow, snow pants, so I was like, my shoes will, worst case scenario, just get wet. I'll be fine. And it goes up to my thigh. Like, that's how deep it was. And then this fool, instead of just walking across it with a 6'2 tall ass, he decides to try to jump it. Completely submerges into it. Gun and everything. And then fell back. Yeah. yeah and so there was that. completely submerged everything. So he's dripping wet. Everything. I sat down in the creek and came up with my throat. Yeah. So, so it's 20 degrees outside. I'm about to die. So we're going back to the truck. Yeah, so we're going to go to this laundry mat we saw, dry his clothes, go to Walmart, get him some tennis shoes because his boots are completely wet. Mine are fine. Like, I think they'll dry because they're not as insulated as his. So I think they'll dry. And then we're going to try it somewhere near here tomorrow. But yeah. Good morning. So after the whole creek incident, we went to the laundromat. Dried up all our clothes. Dried everything up. I got some good old Walmart shoes. Yeah. I did them this morning. We'll see how that works out. Mine dried out pretty fine, but his are too insulated to dry out. So we're it's morning of day two right now. We're driving off to a spot near where we saw that other one, and we're gonna hike in before it gets um, light enough to shoot, so that we can kind of see them as they're waking up. So that's our plan. Hopefully we get enough on camera and both of our phones are about to die, so we'll see. Get it? Huh? What was it? Big white tail. Buck? Yeah. Well, let's go get it. It's pretty open, so maybe.
So, we've been hiking around like idiots, and I've, you know, been on a four and a half mile. Let me bike. show you. Yeah. And that's the easy part. We were literally side hilling and going down these fingers into nothingness, and my feet hurt, and I'm angry at him, but. We're super depressed because there's. This is gonna be a nasty, nasty pack out, but I just shot a very large buck in the bottom of this. We've been hiking for about two and a half hours. Yeah, and this craziness, we didn't see one thing, and then finally down there, he saw something. I was like, wait, because we're right by private. And I was like, wait, let me pull up my Onyx to make sure. That fence right there is private. Yeah, that fence. And I was like, wait, let me make sure we're on public. And it started going, and it loaded, and I was like, all right, you're good. And then it started running away, and he shot it as it was running away. So we're going to go get it. And look at um, how deep, how steep we are down. Yeah, we might be skidding on our butts. And he's over there somewhere. Right in that orange patch at the bottom. Yeah. So this will be fun. Let's, Let's go. So he's laying, I don't know if you can see it, but he's laying right there. And that is a giant ridge. So I think we're going to walk down there, drop down, come all the way back up, and then go way up there and our car is somewhere in the beyond. About two miles. Yeah, so wish us luck. Oh no, he snapped off. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, he broke off. Oh no. Sorry, I the hook, man. What the, well can we glue it back together? Okay, I think he fell this way. Think it's a fresh snap or? Yeah, we had both horns and half time. That's what happens when you shoot him on the side of a cliff. Well, let's look for blood and then we'll be able to tell where he I just found. Drop. Well, she found the other antler, but apparently. Okay, first, before you say anything, I we searched up and down here because we found his fur where he had tumbled. tumbled so we knew that it was somewhere up there. But I literally searched everywhere, even where it would like fall off on the sides. And then I was like, babe, because he shot twice. And I was like, what if you shot him? What if you shot it over there? And he's like, I don't know, maybe I shot it off. So we found him right here. I walked all the way over to there and it was laying on the ground. He shot it off his head. You see the bullet in there? Yeah, it literally shot off his head. Anything for big bucks, right? <laughs> you still want to be married to me? No, I want a divorce. <laughs> <sighs> Is it a good thing you shot the antler off? Yeah, because this way it fits in the freezer. I'll just glue this back on later. That way we can shut the door to the freezer? Yeah. Oh. Did you see that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. That's awesome. <laughs> 